Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this, and I'm here to review um, one of my favourite games so far of this year that I didn't think it would be, but it has turned out to be, and that of course is Shadow of Mordor, or Mordor, I don't know why everyone pronounces it like that, I'm not a big Lord of the Rings fan, as I'm sure many of you know, but if we say Mordor, then why don't we say Ring, but who cares? anyway, so I wrote some points down because I tried to make this video yesterday and was all over the shop So I thought if I wrote some shit down that would make it easier to comprehend as to what I'm trying to say now I was on record as saying oh yeah Shadow of Mordor It'll be probably get a you know low six or a mid seven or something You know, you know no one's gonna buy it, but I'll still pick it up and it'll probably be a little bit of fun um, completely wrong. It is an amazing experience that you should go out and purchase right now because sooner or later Call of Duty is coming out, Assassin's Creed is coming out, Far Cry is coming out, and this will probably just get thrown by the wayside. Which it shouldn't because it is an amazing game, but it doesn't have a Far Cry, it doesn't have Assassin's Creed behind it, or in front of it actually, so probably the masses won't pick it up. So, let's get started as to why Shadow of Mordor is an amazing experience that you should pick up right now. Um, it's the gameplay. It's amazing. It's kind of like, well, it's not kind of like, it is like ba uh, Batman and Altair or Ezio or Connor or that other one that I can never remember the name of because Assassin's Creed 4 was terrible. It'll come to me. I think it starts with an E. Anyway, so, or Jack Sparrow had sexual intercourse with Batman and um, this is what we got was uh, the dude from Shadow of Mordor, because it plays exactly like those two games, which is fine, because Assassin's Creed, amazing game, Battlefield, uh, why do I keep wanting to say Battlefield? Batman, amazing game. So, it's got that going for it, the combat's really great, uh, it's really fluid, it's really fun, it's challenging, because if you get swarmed, like I've finished the game 100% and it got all the achievements, bought the season pass, that's how much I love the game, and if I get gang raped by the Uruks, then I'm still going to get fucking destroyed. Um, and not to say that it's too hard, it's not too easy and it's not too hard. It finds a nice thing in the middle. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun. It's really satisfying to behead and dominate and brutally murder these orcs. I know they're called Uruks, but I'm going to say orcs for the time being. Um, so combat, amazing. Gameplay, amazing. Um, the, the story's Okay, like I'm not a Lord of the Rings fan, so I don't really understand a lot of the references, and I don't, um, you know, I, d I can't tell you if it's a good Lord of the Rings tale. A lot of people seem to think that it's not, um, but I'm not a fan, so if you are a big Lord of the Rings fan, let me know if you like the story or if it makes sense or whatever. Um, the ending's really lame, it ends in a gigantic quick time event, which sucks, but you know, the, the journey there is so good that I can forgive it for that. Um, the, the gameplay, again, is it's challenging, it's tactical, um, especially due to the swarms, like you can use a bow, you can stealth, stealth is really rewarding, stealth is really fun, um, and as you kill things and as you do missions, you level up, you can get different um, perks, like more damage, more health, um, you can upgrade your weapons, you have like, f you have three main weapons, you've got your bow, your dagger, and your sword, and you can upgrade them. Uh, and that's really satisfying because when they're upgraded they do more damage and it's cool as shit and you can unlock more executions and stuff like this. Really good upgrade system. Um, the epic and deep hierarchy system that the Uruks have is amazing. And I thought it would be really gimmicky and not that good, but it is great. So what it means is you have your big war chiefs, there's five of them I believe, and then they have their lower captains and lower captains and lower captains. It's kind of like the Russian dolls of the Uruks. Um, I don't know why I have a Scottish accent when saying that, but that, it's so deep. And then you can help one become a war chief and control him, and then you can control all these underlings and stuff like that, and it's really political, it's really fun, it's really amazing, and you could just play that aspect of the game for hours and hours and hours on end, um, because it's really fun, and obviously the higher level they are, the more sh epic shit that they drop. It's not like Destiny, you kill one no matter what, you're going to get something. Um... What else did I write? Also, um, you can do scouting on them, so they all have their weaknesses and they all have their strengths. For instance, a war chief is going to have a lot more strengths than weaknesses, but maybe his one weakness is a great fear of the bees. Drop some bees on him and he's going to run like a little bitch. However, if you do a stealth takedown and he's invulnerable to stealth, you're going to get your shit pushed in. And the same goes for all the other underlings as well. So it's really interesting, it's really great, and it's really cool to see how you can manipulate that system to work in your favour. Um, it's not like you can just dominate a lower one and then, oh, he's war captain now, war chief. You have to, like, go take him through missions and level him up 
to the point where it can challenge and then you can like overthrow people, perform coups and stuff like this. Um, and it's really great. Um, it looks and sounds amazing. I've seen a lot of PC guys say that it looks really great on their rig. I don't know because I don't have a PC. Um, but let me know if, if it looks great. It looks great on Xbone. I'm assuming it looks great on PlayStation 4. Sounds great too, but I believe it's composed by the dude who did uh, Bioshock Infinite. And I do love the Bioshock Infinite soundtrack. There was other things that I probably meant to say that I didn't write down. So I'm going to have a th tactical think about that. Um, oh yes, about the, the hierarchy system. Every war captain, so say there's 24 spots. I can't remember how many in the big thing and you eliminate all 24, right? There's no ones left. Advanced time, they all come back. Not the same ones, they're all different. And when they were showing the game off, they're like, oh yeah, when you run into them, because when you run into them, they all say something to you. Like they'll be a smart ass or an asshole or just laugh at you. That was the creepiest one. Really good. And I've played the game for 30 hours, 100%ed it, and not one of them has said the same thing. Um, so I thought that was really impressive. And it's just, it's really cool to like, to if, for instance, if one of the war chiefs kills you and then you go back, he'll be like, I thought you robbed the grave, ranger. You know, and stuff like that. Well, shit. And then, you know, you got the other ones that are like, I'll eat your bones, ranger. Stuff like that. So... You know, it's really cool that I've... I mean, I probably have seen the same ones, but I just can't remember it, because it's not like, you know, other games where they repeat the same thing over and over and over again. It's really cool how much voice acting went in. And the main dude is Troy Baker, who we just can't get enough of, it seems. So, for God's sake, patronise this game, because the ending of the story kind of hints at a sequel. I hope so, because it's really great, and it's very rare that we see... I mean, it's Lord of the Rings, but I'm going to call it a new IP anyway. Like, it's a fantastic game that blends everything together, unlike Destiny. Yes, I can hold a grudge, um, but definitely go and pick it up. Uh, I mean, I, I, just pick it up. It's really good. Like, I haven't looked at anything into Call of Duty, so I don't know if that's going to be stealing your time. It's probably not going to take my time away. Assassin's Creed and Far Cry definitely will, however, and if you're like me, go out and get it now. It's really great. We need to patronise this kind of game development so we just don't get Battlefield Hardline every year. Um, so go and check it out and tell me what you guys think. So until next time, rate, comment and subscribe. Au revoir.